You're thinking of P. Diddy and the thousand gallons of baby oil. Oh, uh, thousand bottles? That, yeah, I don't know. Were they gallon how, bottles? How big <laughs> bottles were they, Mike? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a, <laughs> a, a gallon of baby oil in my life. At no point in my life did I have more than two bottles of baby oil in my home. And I've never had a baby. Right. Right. It's real good for taking off makeup, especially waterproof makeup. Therefore, I had my usual and my backup. But I can't imagine having 1,000 of them, especially because realistically that scent, not great. Well, and let's face it, it's not the best lube. No. Okay. Here we are just segueing. It's perfect. Mm. Um, obviously, we're talking about P. Diddy and the raid that happened at his home. The fact that they found a thousand bottles, a thousand gallons, whatever it was, of baby oil. Um, have you never heard of um, what's it called? Uh, and who's the company? I think the company is Pure P J U R. I've heard that the Pure Eros brand mm -hmm. is the good stuff. Okay, it's like fifty bucks for an eight ounce bottle. Wow, but boy, you know where that went. That's a lot. But um, also, I've just heard. If we're talking about lube, I'm sorry. Have you never heard of some WD-40? <laughs> uh, it works on literally everything. And it's got that like weird little red hose that like can spray on you so can precisely. Get up anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Hank like, Hill. Why are you not using that <laughs> on anything you need? Do you tell me what? <laughs> We've been watching <laughs> lots of King of the Hill lately. <laughs> but uh, baby oil, that's so basic. You would think a rock star like P. Diddy. Well, and also, does I mean, not if you're going to good. coerce people, allegedly, by getting them to do unspeakable acts on video, at least, at least, be a gentleman. You know, provide them some good lube. And also, I hate powder fresh scent, mm. which is what baby oil tends tends to smell like. You don't like, want to be thinking gross. about babies, yeah, yeah. while you're making <laughs> one. <laughs> ew, ew, Mike. <laughs> But this is a great segue to way to go, Pocatello Jiffy Lube for this sign. There it is. Live, laugh, lube. <laughs> I mean, I love that they're keeping the Karens on their toes. <laughs> True word words have never been spoken. Pocatello Jiffy Lube. And that's why you are IFAF this week. Chris Pie 5. 21 finger gun salute. <laughs> right from the lube guns. And chef's kiss. To you. To you. And I your fine marketing you, department. I hate that you made me do pew pew when you were meaning different guns than the guns I was doing. So sorry about that. <clears throat> How dare you. Uh, anyway, have you heard Eminem's song Fuel from his album that he re released yes. in July, The Death of Slim Shady, mm -hmm. Coup de Gras? Yeah. And he says something like... Um, R-A-P-E-R, -E got lots of essays, essays. Wait, he didn't just spell rapper without a P, did he? And I've seen that like on 10 or 20 reels at this point. Right, same. Whoa, burn. That that works on so many levels. Yeah. Well, okay, that works on two levels. Three. Oh? Here's why. Okay. So essays, so in YouTube speak. All right. As someone who likes to listen to true crime cases, S A also stands for something. I wanted to read a little bit of this meme that I found that perfectly describes how I feel. Right. Because I couldn't put it into the words when I was, when we first started this little internet video talk show of ours, mm -hmm. and I was so shocked that we had to use the word unalived. Yeah, I, rem I remember that. Instead of, you know, the real world terms for what we were describing. And yeah. now come to find out kids are using that in hallways of schools. Right, right. Because we can't be adults here. Here's what this meme says, and I love it. I dislike self-censorship terms like unalive because they're cringy. I dislike them because I don't think advertisers should be able to shape how we talk about certain subjects. Survivors of abuse or other traumatic experiences should not have to make up new words because platforms are scared of chasing away advertisers. It's so that younger people can be part of the conversation and also... Should younger people be part of this conversation? Maybe not. Well, I mean, any kid who was watching Bambi on Disney Home Video... Yeah, knows murder. And was like, what happened there? Well, kiddo, sometimes people hunt. And 
And then, you know, you grow up and you gain some perspective and you see what's going right, on. Right, right. Yeah. And then you bag yourself a good looking elk. <laughs> Or antelope. Says the guy who couldn't even pull the trigger because it was too sad. Yeah, that's true. And also respect. Yeah. Uh, same. <laughs> that's why we're good co-hosts. <laughs>